As you can see, the obstacle strategy is one of the most powerful techniques that you can use to put tremendous amounts of cash into your pocket and acquire stock at deep discounts. In this video, I'm going to prove that to you by sharing with you two years worth of option wheel trades in the popular monthly dividend paying company, Realty Income. I'm going to show you trade by trade how if the current cash secure put options that we have sold are assigned to us, we'll be buying the stock at a 64% discount. That would mean that we own it at $24.75 per share as compared to what it's currently trading for, $68.75. Here you see a snapshot of every trade that we've done in our main opportunity account in Realty Income ticker symbol O over the past two years. I know it's probably hard for you to see all these trades, so I'm going to focus on specific trades in just a moment. But before I do that, please notice that at the bottom right corner in the blue box that if the three cash secured put option contracts that we're currently short and realty income are assigned to us, that our cost basis would be $24.75 per share. That's amazing considering that realty income is currently trading for, as you can see in the blue box in the top left corner, $68.75 per share. That means that because of our upgraded version of the wheel strategy, we've been running on realty income. If the put options we sold were assigned to us, we'd own realty income at a 64% discount. And that's just from doing the wheel strategy for 23 months. This story begins in August 19th of 2020. At that time, realty income was trading for around $61 per share. It had recently declined from 66 per share and appeared to be stuck between the green 50 and red 200 exponential moving average here on this daily chart. Because it had recently found support at the yellow arrow, which was at the green 50 moving average and right at $60, I decided to sell the third Friday of September September $60 cash secured put option. For that, we were paid $1.70 per share. Two days later, it was still finding nice support at the green 50 moving average, so we sold two more cash secured put options and received $1.65 per share. We ended up closing those put options out on September 9th for only $0.20 cents per share. Notice that on the day we closed this put option out, at the base of the white arrow, that realty income had pushed through the green 50 and red 200 moving average. If I switch over to the weekly chart, notice that the white arrow, that realty income had also pushed through the red 200 and was trying to push through the green 50 moving average on this time frame as well. Notice that it was in a nice uptrend on this weekly as well as the daily chart. Because of that, we closed out the September put options and simultaneously sold the third Friday of October $65 cash secured put options. For that, we were paid $2.66 per share. Now, unfortunately, things don't always work out as planned. As you can see, Realty Income found support at the red 200 moving average, but six days after we rolled those put options out, it broke below the green 50 and red 200 moving average. Finally, on September 25th, it found support, but by then, our $65 cash sugar put option was $7 in the money because Realty Income was trading at $58 per share. Fast forward to October 16th, third Friday of the month, and Realty Income had gone back up, but has since retraced, was back down to just above $60 per share. Now, I still felt good about Realty Income and believed that, if anything, it would find support back around $57. But I believe that it had the potential to, over the long run, continue its march higher. So on October 16th, we rolled the third Friday of October, $65 put option out to November, and was able to walk away with 76 cents per share. In all, up to this point, we had collected $2,212.63. That meant that if these shares were assigned to us, our cost basis would be $57.62 per share. Well, that's exactly what happened. On November 19th, the November $65 cash secure put options were assigned to us, so we bought 300 shares of realty income at $65 per share. When we looked at the call options for December, they just weren't paying much, so we went out to the third Friday of January and sold the $65 covered call option. For that, we received another $0.95 cents per share. And that's when the fun began. By owning these shares, we're able to begin collecting the monthly dividend. So from December of 2020 through April of 2022, when we owned this stock, we pocketed the monthly dividend. Starting here at the bottom, you see that in December, the dividend was $0.23.5 cents per share. It stayed at that same amount every month until June of 2021. At that point, Realty Income decided that its owners deserved a raise, so the dividend went up to 23.6 cents per share. It stayed at that rate, being paid monthly, until November when it was raised by 4.7% to 24.6 cents per share. Then the next month, it was raised again to 24.7 cents per share. In addition to receiving those dividends, we're also selling covered call options, as you can see in the blue boxes, during the whole time that we owned the stock. As you can see in the red boxes, some months we rolled the covered call options up in anticipation of realty going up in value. In other months, we rolled it down because it had dropped in price and was showing some weakness. At the green arrows, you see that on multiple occasions, 
we rolled an expiring covered call option out at least two months instead of the typical one because the return was better or it enabled us to roll the covered call strike price up and still pocket a credit. This continued for a year and a half until on April, Realty Income was finally called away from us at $67.50 per share. That price was $2.50 per share more than what we had paid for it back in November a year and a half earlier. During that time, as you can see in the purple box, we pocketed $6,444.80 as a result of selling put options, covered calls, and collecting those dividends. By the way, if you want to be a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and bell notification. If you're finding benefit in this video, please go ahead and hit the like button as well. After letting Realty Income be caught away from us, we had to wait several weeks for it to go down in price to be in a position where it would be advantageous for us to do a new cash secure put option in it. But on May 5th, we started all over again by selling the third Friday of June $65 cash secure put options, as you can see here in the alert that I sent out to my patrons as soon as I knew the trade went through. Since then, we've been able to sell multiple cash secure put options to the point where now we have collected, as you can see in the purple box, $7,424.68. Currently, we are short three cash secure put options in realty income and plan to either roll them out, let them be assigned to us, and turn them into a covered call position, or close them out for a nice profit. In fact, we had a fourth put option that we had sold on June 15th for $1.30 per share, but the trade went our way so fast we were able to close it out 13 days later for only $0.13 cents per share. Notice at the white arrow that Realty Income now appears to be topping out. In the volume section in the white box, notice too that the volume appears to be declining. As a result, we're waiting for an opportunity to sell a new cash secured put option to replace the one that we closed out early once Realty Income comes down and finds solid support. Using our upgraded version of the wheel strategy, which involves moving strike prices around, waiting for opportunistic times to sell cash secured put options, continually calculating the best possible scenario, whether it's letting a cash secured put option be assigned to us and turning it into a covered call while collecting the dividends, or just rolling the put option out and maybe up or down a strike price. By working those put and call options and working those strike prices and expiration periods, as you have seen, it can turn a seemingly boring, stable, and solid mature company like Realty Income into a real cash flow machine. If you'd like to follow along with us as we trade our version of the upgraded wheel strategy and receive alerts when we do trades similar to the ones I showed in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see exactly how much cash you can potentially make trading our version of the upgraded option wheel strategy, please check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flows. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.